So the big question is this. How are those in the self-storage industry like us going to be successful in today's market? That's the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Jim Ross, and welcome to the Self Storage Show. Welcome to the Self Storage Summit. I am Mark Gooden from Storage Authority Franchising, and we're going to be discussing guerrilla marketing and guerrilla sales in this segment. First, I want to thank Jim Ross for putting together such an awesome opportunity uh, for everyone to learn how to grow and uh, improve their self-storage business. Um, the last minute, I added sales to the to guerrilla marketing because, you know, the guerrilla marketing gets them in the door, but the guerrilla sales is just as important because that closes the sales. Um, so I want you to think about that as, as well. You know, so the first question is, why do this extra work? And you can see right there that it's simple. It's a, it's a pile of cash if we do our business right, and it's not that hard. It just takes a consistency day after day. If you rent one extra unit in a year, and they stay for 12 months, and the average price is about $150 per unit, that's $1,800 you made in additional profits. Now let's assume you, you take this seriously and you do one extra rental a month. Again, the average person is going to stay for about a year with the average rent of $150 a month. That's $21,600 in additional profits. Now let's, let's take it to the, to the top of the pinnacle and say um, you take it super serious and you rent one extra unit a week. Again, they stay for a year, they pay $150 a month, that's $93,000 in extra income. It's hard to beat that, it's a reality, it can happen, and you can do it. You know, five star reviews, it wasn't such a big deal 10 years ago, it wasn't such a big deal uh, five years ago. But, you know, last, last month I just was finishing up a, a cottage I'm working on and, and I wanted to buy a horseshoe for a horseshoe pit that we built. I went on Amazon. There's two or three people selling the exact same set of horseshoes. And which one did I choose? Of course, the one that had a ton of five-star reviews, one after another. Um, so you've got to get those five-star reviews. Um, and to get them, the number one reason to get them or the number one way to get them is you have to ask for them okay now if you're gonna ask for them you got to make sure your site is clean it's organized and you've got over-the-top service but once that's done you ask for those reviews um, and, and then we give them a boost so when we ask and they say yes we send them a reminder we send them an email or a text um, so we with, with with a link so it's real easy for them to give us give us a review um, you know, and on our website, we, we put those reviews right front and center on our website because quite often that's the first contact people have with us. Um, a, for the people to see them, and B, it's a large part of the website SEO that we're missing out on by not having those uh, front and center. Um, and, and the prospects notice. Uh, we, we've just really been emphasizing this at some of our facilities, and, and just last week, you know, I heard from one facility and I saw it in the facility I was working in. As I started talking to them about our benefits, they said, you've got me sold. I saw all the reviews on the website. So people will actually mention that in, in, as they're in the office and it's going to make your job so much easier. Um, you know, you want to set yourself a goal. Right now, if you work for one of the REITs, um, you know this, you know, they actually require eight reviews um, per month. Otherwise, they will literally go, will le literally let you go. So, you know, I suggest 10 a month is not that hard if it's a top priority. Um, so set yourself that goal. Um, and, and it's the one way, uh, especially on the website, to get away from uh, competing on price, the last thing that you, you want to do. You know, the, the, the website has got to be perfected. You know, the, the, the vast majority of websites, you know, have not been tuned up for, for years, um, in some cases three or four years, but things have changed, so they really do have to be updated. 
I mean, the website is one half for the client who's viewing the website, and the other half is for Google. You know, I didn't understand this for, for a long time, but you know, literally, you know, you've got to put on these blocks of content, you know, where, which is just describing the area of your facility, describing the neighborhood, repeating the town, repeating the street. So, you know, you de do need those blocks of content because that is part of the way Google is going to understand you. You know, the number one reason people go to your website typically is often to find, you know, where you're located, your hours, uh, you know, so you need to put that information, but you know, you're next to, you're next to the gas station, you're next to the, the mall. So put that on there um, and you, you, you know, you simply nowadays, you have to be able to rent online. Um, taking reservations online, um, you know, that, that's individual case. Personally, I don't take reservations online, but I know a lot of people do that. We go directly to the, to the rent online, but you, people have to be able to do that on their own. More and more people are, are doing it, um, and, and I see it because a, a year ago, I, I would ask people, oh, how, how was it? How, is it hard to rent online when, when they would rent with us? And, you know, they say, yeah, it took a few buttons, but now people are getting used to it. And, and the last one I talked to just two days ago is, oh, it was a breeze. So, so make it easy and make it tie right into your, your management program, um, you know, and because and, that's going to be 10, 15% of your rentals, if not more. You know, one of the things about guerrilla marketing is, is you really got to surprise and delight your customers. It, it doesn't cost a ton of money for guerrilla marketing. It, it just takes some, some initiative. Um, you can see right here, everywhere we go, as we're out in the community, we, we hand out a business card that gives them a free box, um, you know, small or medium. And, and now we've actually supersized it by putting a, a, a free box and a free vacuum because we have a vacuum cleaner at all of our facilities. So, you know, you've got to continually think about supersizing. But, you know, how many people have opened the door for you? very few why not get out there and open the door for everybody you know just recently the month of October went by I handed out 30 pumpkins it cost me at one of my facilities it cost less than 100 bucks but we got smiles after smiles after smiles you know we gave our Google reviews a push because obviously we gave them something nice like that we we asked them for a Google review you know so you've got to over uh, supersize everything you do to surprise and delight um, you know, you see free candy, free water, and, and, and free, you know, soda. A lot of people do that at their self-storage. But, you know, are, are you oversizing? Is your candy dish humongous? Um, you know, when, when, when they're leaving, do you insist they take some candy? And when they say no, you tell them to take some for their kids. You'll be amazed at how many more people will take that candy and leave with a smile. Um, so you, you've got to do something all the time. Here, here's one of my, my favorites is absolutely meet everyone in front of the counter. You know, don't be sitting in your chair like everybody else. Get in front of that counter and shake hands and welcome them. And then get their names. You know, the most important thing in this world is people's names. Call them by their name and, and you'll find out you've just upped your rentals by 10 or 15%. You know, there's a, a ton of things you can do. You can plant sunflowers al along your fence. So, you know, every spring that surprises and delights your customers. You can, you can have a sign in your office, free Wi-Fi and how to get on and off. You know, these are simple things. And, and, and the great thing about a lot of these is once you get in the habit, they're automatically or they're done once and, and they're for a lifetime. Um, how about white lights across the top of your, your, your fence uh, that, that glow in the, in the dark every night? That will surprise people. It, it just goes, the list is, is endless and you've just got to continue to, to supersize and be remarkable. What can you do that, that somebody's going to go home and tell their family about? Um, Our goal is when, when people are driving by our self-storage, our, our goal is to get them to turn their heads. 
um, and we just need more site signage, brighter site signage. You know, the, the feather flags with the open on it. So many self storages are, are, you know, have limited hours. You're open Saturday, you're open Sunday. We put our open signs in and out every day. So they know when those signs are out, we are, we are open. One of my favorites is the uh, sandwich board with the, with the clip on letters because we can put anything we want on our signage. You know, one of my favorite ones is, is you know, it, is just something that's not happening every day. For example, at one of our self storages, uh, you know, last year when the, when the seniors were gradu graduating, we put on our sign, congratulations, CHS, Coventry High School students uh, graduating class. We actually got calls because we were the only business that had a sign that congratulated the senior class. So with those senior boards, you, sandwich boards, you can put all kinds of messages, you know, both self storage and non self storage that, that, you know, people are gonna turn their heads and wonder what's on there. Switch it up once a month, once a week. Um, got stuff, we've got space, special, whatever the case may be. Um, banners, holiday signs and, and flags, and, and more, more signs in your office for, for sure. Know your neighbors. You know, this is, this is a, a great way to give word of mouth a boost. Um, people like to do business with people they know. People like to do business with people they trust. Uh, people they like so you know one of our things is is it makes so much sense is is our managers visit two hours a week you know before work or, or during work if somebody's covering the ship they just go out and they visit the neighborhood you know, they visit the other businesses in the area and, and that brings in a lot of referrals from these businesses some of them like the realtors um, you know even, even have our rack cards at their office so we visit the realtors we we call the realtors in to visit us um, referral business is 30 part 30 percent of our business so so it's very very important and, and again each one of this is limitless um, you know referrals from other self storages our prices are always the highest in the neighborhood um, we figured out a long time ago you can go to any city in the, in the US and the guys that are charging the highest are the guys that are making the most money because they know they're charging the highest and they work extra so we go to the other self storages and we give them our prices because if they run out of a size, if they're going to refer them to somebody, they want to refer them to the guy that, that has the highest price, not somebody that has a lower price. But I'll tell you what, once they're at our place, they don't go back. So, you know, share, share your business with the neighborhood, share the neighborhood's businesses with your clients. You know, people are looking for movers. People are looking for these things. If you can have a list, somebody ask, you, you can refer them as well. So it's a it's a win-win often. The the list of guerrilla marketing and sales is is endless. In fact, I wrote a book, Crush Your Competition. It's it's over a hundred and two weeks of, of guerrilla marketing. And and the last section, 102 is a list of 99 areas where you can use uh, guerrilla marketing sales you know just just being faster is, is is one technique you know answer that phone quicker return that email quicker um, make it easier return those website contacts quicker that makes a difference in in this business and in fact in ever every business to be better um, another one of my favorites is 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 you know be better but but also on sale at our facilities we only sell disc locks because we can explain to them how much safer they are and, and that gets us a, a sale every single time but we, we act retail there, there's there's a board of, of locks maybe 300 on, on, on the board there and and, and it's got a big sign on sale so our locks are 19.99 on sale for for 12.99 You've got to think retail. You're not in the self storage business if you want to be the price leader. You know, it, it can be as simple as having green grass. You know, pay the $150 two or three times a year to get your lawn super fertilized. People notice those things. Um, you know, it, it, it's even, you know, we, we do Facebook Friday. So every Friday, we have a different space special on our sites it might be stop in and, and get a free breakfast on us and we'll give you a, a five dollar dunkin donuts card you know what we what we have found is that our, our five or six hundred views 
daily on, on Facebook, go to two or 3,000 views on Friday. People just want to see this, but you know what? No matter how good this Friday sales are, we use we get about one or two rentals per year. So it's more about getting your name out there so when somebody thinks self-storage, they think of you. Um, you know, another one of my favorites is the bank business display. You know, at one of our facilities, we're near a university, and so we like to do a, a, a large promotion, you know, as the kids are, are getting out of school. And, and we actually uh, opened a bank account at one of the banks. We don't, we didn't need another bank account. We were all set. But they, because of that, we noticed they had a, a, a business display out there month after month after month. So now we get, we get that every April for, for two weeks. And, and that, you know, gets us 50 to 60 uh, clients, um, students. Um, and at that time, obviously, you know, we, we don't have 50 or 60 units available. So every year, the price of our small units go up right at that time. And they never seem to come down after that um, because we're sold out. So you continue to do these things. I, I know some managers say, we, we don't have enough. We don't have enough units. Raise your prices. You know, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it, that's how businesses work. You know, you know, even uh, I know a lot of facilities, you, you guys don't get out there and raise your rents. You, often you don't even raise them every year. Often it's two or three years, uh, which is a little bit too far. But if you don't raise them every year, provide that as part of your guarantee. You know, we, we don't raise our rents for a year. You know, I know some of the REITs, they might raise them at five and nine months. But you know, put it into your guarantee. Let the people know more about you. It, it's just the list. Of, again, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited, too excited sometimes when I'm talking because the, the list is, is overwhelming, but it, it can be done. First seven seconds. It's so important, you know, and, and the first seven seconds, you, you have several first seven seconds. Um, you know, when you drive by the street view, the second seven seconds is when you drive in, as you're driving in. The third seven seconds, as you walk in and you see that retail. And, and the, the, the next one is the website, the first seven seconds. Um, so you, you gotta have all those perfected. Um, and, and that's part of your guerrilla marketing. It, it's, you know, we try to have just the right feeling. A, a lot of people rent just because it feels right. And those seven seconds are what that's all about. And there's a dozen different ways that you can improve those first seven seconds. And sometimes it takes an outsider. Your office has got stale. Your street view has got stale. Uh, uh, so you need to take a look at it. I just went to one of my facilities. I, I was gone for six months. Uh, I got there and it, it was just overgrown. We cut back uh, six uh, pine trees. We cut back the hedge um, and that gave it a brand new look. So take a look at those things. Have somebody give you some impressions. This is a sign we put up in, in every office, what you're looking here. Welcome. May all those who enter as guests leave as friends. That, that's a $35 decal. It's, it's a good size sign that you can put on your wall from, you can buy it on Amazon. Um, you know, we have an artist that works for us in one of our facilities. So right now we're, we're painting this on the wall. So do something different that, that's going to, make your facility be different because that's what it takes. There's a lot of last seven seconds in, in self-storage. You know, when you leave the office to show a unit, you know, and, and so you, you want them to be smiling on that way out. So, you know, you've got to perfect what you're going to say and where you're going to go. Um, you know, I like to say, hey, let's look at a couple of units so you only pay for the space you need. You know, then they're happy as, as they start walking with you. Because it, 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 your goal is to make them smile, rent, and refer. Um, your, your second time of the last seven seconds is after you showed a unit, you've confirmed the size, and you give them a price. That's simple. Hey, let's, let's go get a unit in your name. You don't say anything after that. You walk by, and then they either have to rent or give you that, their concern so you can overcome them. Um, the third uh, last several seconds is after the rental. 
you know, you've got to say, you know, sincerely, thank you for your business. We appreciate it. In fact, we say that, and then we hold up two referral cards high in the air, and we say, here's sixty dollars for you. We appreciate your business, and you get thirty dollars from each one of these cards when somebody rents, and they get thirty dollars. So, um, you know, people smile even if they don't use them. And then we have one more time, uh, you know, that's when we take them out to the keypad and walk them to their unit. Uh, show them how the door works, show them how the keypad. That extra time with the client makes a difference. And it's just guerrilla sales and it brings in more sales. So take the extra time with the clients um, after the rental as well as before the rental. Crush your competition. You know, this is a book I, I've written um, and, and updated just recently. You know, there's just so many ways it's hard to put it all into one quick slideshow. Um, but if you want to take control of your destiny, if you want to surcharge your sales, um, you know, you've, you've got to read this book and implement what's in this book. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, at the end of the book, it's got a section called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And here's the reality. The only competition you have is yourself. It's not what the guys are doing down the, the road. It's not what their prices are. It's not what they look like. It's you, your manager, and your facility. And, and that is really your competition. It's your only competition is yourself. And it's up to you. It's just simply a decision. And, and for being part of this program, you can just simply email me and I will email you the uh, uh, I'll email you a copy for free so uh, everybody should have one of these lastly um, you know I'm, I'm president of storage authority and, and I just want to let you know if if you've got any questions here's my on marketing sales you're welcome to email me or call me um, there's my number and my my uh, email address I hope you've enjoyed the learning a few things and that you'll implement some of these things so you can make more profits and in my case go go fishing you know so I'm sure you've got your reason why as well but if you've got a reason why guerrilla marketing is the best way to make it happen um, and in fact paid marketing the last thing I want to say is so much paid marketing goes down the drain because guerrilla marketing is it's a three mile radius and paid marketing is is a, is a hundred mile radius and, and so only a few pennies are going to the people that that need to hear from you and, and you you want a hundred percent of your your energies and time going to the people that need it guerrilla marketing is the way to go thanks a lot Thank you so much for listening to The Self Storage Show. Would you like some free stuff? Go to 3milestorage.com slash free to find a list of items you can get for free that would help you dominate your three mile market. There you'll find our free ebook, the Every Call Counts sales script, how to join our Facebook community, access to the next showing of the three day online summit, and whatever else we can think of to bring value to you and your self-storage business. So go to 3milestorage.com slash free and enjoy.